Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Release. I will not succumb to the ways of the world. I will not succumb to the ways of the world. I will not succumb to the ways of the world. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Release. Hey! So, hi guys. So, today I want to talk to you guys about not having any goals or resolutions in 2019. That's so two years ago, right? Like, there are things that you want to achieve, there's things that you want to accomplish, but I feel like goals and resolutions are feeling tired, right? Like, all you see are these different brands and organizations new year new you and it's like yeah okay calm down 2015 like we get it new year new us i think that it feels like a false pressure with 2000 i mean with uh, uh setting goals and resolutions for 2019 it just doesn't feel genuine this year to me let me know in the comments below if you feel the same way it just doesn't feel genuine it feels like i just want to go at my own pace it feels like I want to take my time. I really just want to listen to the, the song that my soul is singing. I want to, you know, not compare. I don't want to compete. I don't want to, you know, have any insecurities or self-doubt because I'm not here. I'm not there. I'm not doing this. I don't have that. And it is frustrating. It is frustrating. I was expressing my, expressing my frustrations about my Instagram numbers because it just felt like I can't get past this number mark. And it's like, okay, wait, is it that important? And uh, Diggy Simmons put something up on his Instagram the other day. He was like, are you doing what you're doing for validation? Or are you doing it because you're in your purpose? And I was like, oh, go ahead and slap me with the truth, Diggy. Because I was like, you're right. You're right. Because when I first started Instagram, when I first started YouTube, I was just doing it because one well I was doing Instagram because everyone else was doing Instagram but I made sure that my content was um, connected with what with my purpose and like my gifts and talents and stuff like that and YouTube I literally was just doing it to do it I did not have numbers in mind until I started growing when I started growing that's when I had numbers in mind but that's neither here nor there what I'm saying is I don't really have any goals for 2019 all I know are there are two things that I am believing God for in 2019 2020 and I'm not gonna share them with you I'm not gonna share them with nobody I think I shared them with my best friend yesterday but I'm not gonna share them with anybody because they are mine and it's between me and God and I think I shared it with my mom actually but you know like i and i think that through trials and tribulations prayer and affirmations and putting into practice the things that i have learned the hard way that i've learned the the loving way putting them into practice i i i've decided to commit to certain things and it's lifestyle modifications it's not like okay so now let me explain so now i am commit i am like for real committing to my celibacy i've been celibate for a long 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 time i've been celibate for about like four years and i'm committed to it i'm my focus is locked in and i think you just have to have a strong mental focus um when when you are like okay this is not a goal anymore this is a lifestyle this is a lifestyle modification and the same thing for being vegan i've recently transitioned into becoming vegan in february it'll be two years since i've been vegetarian but i have decided to just take it to the next step and be vegan and for me again it's not a goal it's not a resolution it's a lifestyle modification until further notice so I encourage you to see like where can I commit to making my life better not for the moment not for not going hard in January and then burning out by March where can I really commit to myself and God and my and the bigger plan that is for me where can I you know commit so for me that's my love life and my um, and my my health and wellness and diet and also i'm really just committing to understanding life and myself in 
Christ and not being distracted by any other of these other things. Resolutions and goals, the thing that they lack, it, it's just like, it's a lot of hype, right? You're excited, you're like, whoa, new year. I'm about to sit here, I'm about to um, eat this broccoli, I'm about to stand online at sweet green, get my salad on, hey, hey, hey. And then um, March come by, you let you know, and let me just go ahead and get this in and out because you know what, it's March. And um, I fucked up already. So, And it's like, you want to think of it as what are you going to commit to? Are you going to commit to your health? Are you going to commit to this fad of goals and resolutions? If you have goals, I think that I'll, every year I get disappointed because every year I'd be like, I'm going to be a movie star. And every year I'm not a movie star. And I think I would get disappointed because I would make take the actions towards what I wanted and then I wouldn't see it happen and I would get discouraged. And I think broadening the timeline, especially for something so big like, like a career change or marriage or something that you want to do with your physical self, expanding the timeline will allow you to not have any un un uh, unnecessary expectations because expectations really are uh really are like not necessary so i am asking you if you have goals and resolutions why what is your intention intentions are your why what is your why are you committing to it because of this why like why are you doing what you're doing and i would ask you if you have a big goal and you're just like god why is this not happening i would break it up into three month intervals so if you want to like let me just talk to my actors real quick if you want to sit here and book a uh if you want to book a uh co-star on a television show you know do do your due diligence of writing down what shows you want to be on making sure that you like have an agent and all of that good stuff but you know every three months maybe you could be like okay i want to have two i want to book two auditions a month i want to book one audition a month I want to and make sure that like so like yeah like I want to book one audition a month I want to get into certain rooms okay I'm getting closer and closer and closer to the goal because really when it comes to stuff like that you just don't know when it's gonna happen but that's why I like having like but see that's why I like having a broader um, and that's why I like having a broader timeline so because I see that a lot of things can happen in a year. So if I say like, okay, I want to grow my nails 10 inches in the year, I, and I do my due diligence of putting the coconut oil on my nails, making sure to take care of my cuticles, I will see my nails grow to 10 inches by the end of the year. So you can't sit here and say like, oh yeah, I want to, I want to be married by March. Like, girl, boy, are you praying? Are you preparing? Like, what are you doing to receive this goal? And I think that when you expand, expand the timeline and also give yourself, break down your goals into three month intervals. You say you want to be vegan. Okay. So this month on Saturdays, I'm only going to eat vegetables and you slowly transition into this new life that you want because that's what you need to do. You need to slowly transition into the life that you want. You can't be rushing. You can't be pressed. You can't do none of that because I promise you that shit does not work and you just be all over the place and God is like, I'm trying to catch you. And then you're like, no, God, I got this. And it's like, OK, God's like, OK, I'm going to let you just fall on your face and come back to me because that's what's going to happen. So. Do not feel pressured to give into 2019 goals and resolutions. It's not about short term anything anymore. It's about the long game. You keep your eyes focused on the long game. You keep your eyes focused on God and you're going to see the big things that you are desiring for to happen. I believe as I speak to you, I speak to myself. I believe it for myself and I'm believing it for you. This was a sh super short, quick video because your girl is hungry and I just shot like three other videos and I'm ready to, um, you know, edit. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please let me know in the comments below how you feel about goals in 2019. 19 resolutions and are you feeling it because i'm not feeling it at all so let me know in the comments below what you think be sure to follow me on instagram for all things sprinkles of spiritual sassiness and twitter because i'll be on twitter too so thank you guys so much i love y'all beloveds uh see you later